In this video, we will begin chapter three, starting with the first section, which is extrema on an interval. So the definition of the word extrema is basically a minimum or a maximum. So if F is defined on an interval I containing an X value C, one F of C is the minimum of F on I when F of C is less than or equal to F of X for any X. So basically this X value is less than or equal to every X value of the function in that interval. The second statement is, is that f of c is the maximum of the function on i when f of c is greater than or equal to f of x for all x in i, which means that this y value is greater than or equal to every other y value of the function within that interval. The minimum and maximum of a function on an interval are the extreme values, or also known as extrema of the function. Extrema on a closed interval are called absolute extrema or global extrema. Extrema that occur at the endpoints of a closed interval are called endpoint extrema. Extrema on an open sub interval are called local extrema or relative extrema. Now theorem 4.1, the extreme value theorem. If F is continuous on a closed interval, AB, then F has both a minimum and a maximum in the interval. The definition of a relative extrema. If there is an open interval containing C on which F of C is a maximum, then F of C is called a relative maximum of F. Or you can say that F has a relative maximum at the point C, F of C. Similarly is the case for if F of C is a minimum. Then you say that the Y value is a minimum or a relative minimum, or you can say that there is a relative minimum at the point C, F of C. Now here is a definition of a critical number. Let F be defined at C. If F prime of C equals zero, or if F is not differentiable at C, which means that F prime of C is undefined, then C is a critical number of F. Therefore, um, to find critical numbers, um, we'll have a process. So it says theorem 4.2, relative extrema occur only at critical numbers. If F has a relative minimum or relative maximum at X equal to C, then C is a critical number of F. So here's the guidelines to finding extrema on a closed interval. Find the critical numbers of A of F in the interval AB. This may require you to know the domain of F. And second step, evaluate F at each critical number in AB. Evaluate F at each endpoint A and B. The least of these values is the minimum and the greatest is the maximum. Now remember how you find critical numbers. Because number one just says find them, but how do you find them? You first find F prime of X, then you set f prime of x equal to zero and the denominator of f prime of x equal to zero. This will tell you where the, fun where the derivative is equal to zero. This will tell you where the um, derivative is undefined. And both of those cases do have, um, are part of the definition for a critical number. Um, you need to omit any critical numbers found that are not in the domain. Um, 